What does it mean to live thankfully? What does it mean to live thankfully? And how do we live in a state of thanksgiving, in a state of always giving God thanks? And oftentimes when we think about thanksgiving, about giving God thanks, or about being thankful, we tend to view it as a feeling we are experiencing at a particular time. We think of living thankfully as a means of feeling or being thankful. But living thankfully begins with recognizing that God is the source of all things that are good and true, honorable and right. And that God is always faithful toward us who are his followers and children. To be living thankfully is participating in the life of Christ as we practice giving thanks. And when we give thanks with a cheerful, joyful heart, we are affirming that God has done and continues to do what he has made and continues to make possible in our lives because he is the provider. God is the faithful provider, and the Bible warns us never to forget that God and God alone is the source of all that we have, all that we are, and all that is to come. So when we live thankfully, we are confirming that God is the owner, the landowner, and we are the caregivers, the stores, the managers. In our nation, we have established Thanksgiving Day to give God thanks, a day which originated out of a celebration that was held by the Plymouth settlers known as pilgrims after their first harvest in the 17th century. Their festival lasted three days and was attended by pilgrims and native Indians. The latter once owned the land which the pilgrims occupied. And Thanksgiving would eventually become a federal holiday. It is the day on which the holiday season begins. It is a time that retailers hope they too can give thanks as their stores and businesses are financially in the black. It is normally a time for families and friends to gather together, although this year we are advised not to do so because of the pandemic. A day for watching football and participating in parades, a day for eating and eating and eating more turkey and pumpkin pies. And for many, it is a time when we think and seek to respond to the needs of others. For it is our spiritual responsibility to share God's gifts and our blessings with others. But Thanksgiving is not a one day a year occasion to be thankful. Thanksgiving is a daily lifestyle if we are going to live thankfully. Each Sunday, we celebrate the Eucharist, and we are giving thanks to God, for the Eucharist is the Greek word which actually means thanksgiving. Every Sunday, we give God thanks in the Eucharist, and every day we are called to give God thanks. For as the psalmist says in Psalm 24, the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, and they that dwell therein. And so if everything we have really belongs to God, how can we not share what belongs to him with those who are like us, whom God created in his own image and likeness and loved so much in sending his son to die for all of us? And thus, we cannot hold on to what isn't ours to start with. It belongs to God, and he wants us to share it with one another. Paul emphasizes that it is God who makes it possible for us to be as generous with others as God has been with us. In that way, through our generosity, thankfulness to God becomes more evident. 
for sharing God's generosity with others is the very act of giving thanks. Can you imagine if we would all share what we have with one another instead of seeking to hoard it all to ourselves? Earlier this year, when the coronavirus pandemic first started, there were certain necessary items on the shelves of grocery stores that persons took more than they needed, leaving others with none. Can you imagine what that was like? Can you imagine if farmers were to gather all their crops and store them in barns or in refrigerators for themselves and not share or sell or give so that others may partake? Can you imagine what would happen to all of us? Living a life of thankfulness is more than simply saying thank you or counting our blessings and naming them one by one. Living a life of thankfulness is more than just saying the words. Living thankfully is about who we are, our being in the world, how we relate and act in our relationship with God and in our relationship with others. And I'm not saying that we shouldn't say thank you or that you shouldn't count your blessings for yes, we need to and should. I'm really talking about thanksgiving as a way of being and relating as something that comes from within us and not from outside of us. It is being able to say in our relationships with others, the gifts of God for the people of God. And therefore, we need not only to thank God, but to thank each other. When last have you thanked your spouse or your children? When last have you thanked the mailman or woman, the cashier who checked your grocery items, or the girl or guy who packed them for you? When last have you thanked your lawn care provider or the neighbor next door? When last have you thanked the trash collector or one of your Christian brothers or sisters? And even if you just thank them for being a part of your church. For quite often we complain or we grumble more than we give thanks. The children of Israel in the wilderness are a primary example of those who complain against Moses and the Lord particularly when they were in the wilderness, having just left slavery in Egypt en route to the promised land. Thankfulness, my friends, must overcome complaining because even when things may not be all well, there is still reason to be thankful. As we celebrate another Thanksgiving day, let us not just give thanks for gifts received, or for things or people we love and know. But let us live our thanks in being and in action in every person we meet, in every voice with whom we speak, in every facet of our being. Remembering that giving thanks is sharing God's blessings with others. Amen. Before I close, I want to thank you for joining us for this spiritual time. I would also like to share with you an event that is coming up here at our church on December 5th at 9 in the morning till 2 p.m. It's our annual Holly Fair in the garden. And so we would like you to, we'd like to invite you to that. It's, uh, it's free. And at the fair, you will have raffles and jewelry and Christmas wreaths and trees and festive music, a bake shop and Christmas gift shop. And you also get the opportunity to tour our church or church building, which is one of the oldest churches in Martins County. So we look forward to seeing you on Saturday, December 5th, between 9 a.m. and 2 p.m. And we will just uh, like you to know that 
uh, please uh, uh, wear uh, your mask when you are here. Do continue to have a spirit-filled and blessed week. We also look forward to your being with us this coming Sunday at 10 a.m. for our live stream Sunday service on this same YouTube channel. Or you may join us for in-person worship either at 8 o'clock or 10 a.m. Uh, we will begin the season of Advent, a new church or Christian calendar year. We also encourage that you, in, you make reservations by either calling the church office at 772-334-0610 or you may email us at info at allsaintsjensenbeach.org and just tell us uh, what time service you wish to attend or you may go online at allsaintsjensenbeach.eventbrite.com and you can make your reservations there. We look forward to your being with us at one of our services and also with us at the Holly Fair on December 5th. May God bless you and keep you and have a blessed and happy Thanksgiving. Let us pray. May the Lord of all creation shower his blessings and favor upon you. Amen. May the Lord of the harvest grace your thanksgiving table with his presence and fill you and fill your loved ones with peace. Amen. May the Lord of salvation guide you all your days until you come into the joys of his eternal kingdom. Amen. And may almighty God Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless you now and forevermore. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.